Hi everybody, welcome back to Golf with Michelle. Today I'm going to talk about the left arm. So why is it important for us to keep our left arm straight throughout the swing? Because it's really important that through impact, we're going to make sure we'll be able to rotate our forearm and also release the club head correctly. Okay, in order to release the club head correctly over here, we're going to make sure the left arm is straight and of course we can rotate our forearm. If any time I bend my left elbow, I won't be able to rotate my forearm and release the club correctly because it's happening too fast on a downswing. So it's really important that we keep our left arm straight throughout the swing. It will be easier to be, re uh, it's, it'll be more, the swing will be more consistent and more repetitive. So today I'm going to show you what causes it and how to fix it. Number one is the grip. If you have too weak of a left hand grip, okay? Too weak, that means your thumb is on top. You don't see any knuckles on, from, the, from the top or maybe just only one knuckle, okay? Or you have your left, left thumb spread down the grip like this, okay? There's no gap between the palm and the grip and your thumb is pointing straight down like that. Okay, it looks like that. So you have a grip that looks like that or if it's too weak, you won't be able to cock the wrist. If you won't be able to cock the wrist, you won't be able to release and you won't be able to get to this position. It's really hard to keep the left arm straight if you can't release the club, okay? So if you have a really weak left hand grip or the left thumb is spread down, high chance you will bend your elbow throughout the swing. Or even when you take your back swing, you can't cock the wrist, okay? You can't cock the wrist, you end up having to use your arm to lift the club and end up bending your left arm as well. Weak left hand grip, you don't see any knuckles from the top or maybe just only one knuckle or you have your thumb spread down the grip like that sometimes we try to put our left thumb on top of the grip directly on top you know both thumbs like that it's really hard to move the wrist then you end up having to bend the elbow reason number two is the rotation and also swaying okay if i do not rotate my body at all on the backswing if i don't move especially when we try to keep our head still, we don't rotate. We think that we're moving our shoulders, but then if I don't turn, I can't get to the top of the backswing, I might end up bending my left elbow, okay? And the other reason is if I sway, I will have no space to rotate. It'll be really hard to rotate my body and my chest start facing towards the ground on the backswing. Again, I'll bend my elbow. Same for the follow through. If I do not rotate through, I just use my arms to hit the ball, I will end up bending my left elbow and you will see the chicken wing. That's what we call the chicken wing. And also, if I sway towards the left side a bit too much, my chest face the ground, I'll bend my left, elbow, left arm as well. Okay. The other reason is there is no extension in the backswing. If I don't extend, if I don't extend, you know, some of us can just think just to turn like that and then we can't get to a full backswing because there's no extension, all right? We are turning on the way back here, but if there's no extension, you won't be able to lift your arms up and keep your left arm straight, okay? So that's the other reason. The other reason I would like to mention is the right elbow. We tend to think that we want to keep everything compact. We want to try to keep our arms really close to our body especially our right arm. A lot of us try to think that we want to squeeze our right armpit towards our body and start turning and then our right elbow bend too early. If my right elbow gets stuck against my body and then it bends too early, I might end up bending my left arm as well. Okay, so this is a few reasons why you're bending your left arm throughout the swing. So now I'm going to show you guys a few drills on how to keep the left arm straight. As I mentioned, the first problem could be the grip. So number one, you got to make sure you check your grip. Okay, for the left hand, I would like for you to grip it more towards the fingers, okay? So the fingers, and then you want to wrap the palm, over, wrap the palm around the grip just a little bit. When, when you wrap it around, you should be able to see about two knuckles, and it's really important to have your thumb up, okay? So you're going to feel like you're squeezing this part of your thumb against the palm, all right? So there's a slight gap between the palm and the, and the grip. All right, so this is the correct left hand grip. You, when you straighten your left arm, it's gonna be really easy to cock the wrist with a square club face. Okay, if you have your thumbs down like that, it's really hard to cock, cock the wrist. All right, so good. make sure you check your grip. That's number one. All right, so this is a close up. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna make sure you grip it with your fingers. 
your left hand grip and make sure this part of your palm is sitting on top of the grip. Why this is really important is because we need this part of our palm to help us cock the wrist. If I have my grip in the between, between my palm like this, okay, it's going to be really hard to break the wrist because your grip will look really weak, really weak, okay? So again, this part of your palm has to be on top of the grip with your left thumb up. The left thumb cannot spread down the grip. Again, it's because it's really hard to cock the wrist if my left thumb is spread down the grip. I got to make sure I bring it up and create a gap between my palm and the grip. So the next issue is if you have golfers that can't extend on the way back or they don't extend on the way back, which means the right, the chest is facing the ground on the way back. So if my chest is facing the ground on the way back, I might end up bending my left elbow. All right. Or if I'm swaying, I won't be able to rotate correctly. I will bend my left arm as well. So this is the drill that I would like you to work on. This, you, can, you can do this at home or even at the driving range before you practice. Imagine you're at a clock. So if I'm a clock, this will be 9 o'clock, this will be 10 o'clock. So I would like for you to get the butt of the club poked against your chest, okay? Poke it against your chest, just like that, okay? If you poke the club against your chest and you're going to start rotating back, okay? I want you to feel like the club head is going to point towards 10 o'clock going to point towards 10 o'clock. This will help you to extend correctly and it will be able to help you to straighten the left arm on the way back. You want to point the club hit at 10 o'clock and then this will give you a feel of full extension and of course a nice rotation in the chest and the left arm straight. So now I'm going to talk about the right elbow. A lot of golfers tend, as I mentioned, a lot of golfers like to keep the right elbow really tucked towards the body on the way back. It's just because they try to keep it really compact and they think that it's easier for them to keep the right elbow and the right arm close to the body through impact. If you keep the right elbow too close to the body, you might end up casting on the way down and hitting it way behind, okay? So we gotta make sure we create some space between the right elbow and the body to keep the left arm straight, okay? So I'd like for you to feel this. It's really simple. You're just gonna feel like your right hand is gonna be pushed away from your chest as much as you can on the way back. So you're gonna push your right hand away from your chest as much as you can on the way back. So you create a gap over here. But you're just gonna make sure when you get to this position, you will be able to kind of lag the club a bit better. You wanna get the right elbow close to your body on the way down in front of your rib cage, then impact. All right, it's because sometimes we might think that if I'm gonna push my arms away from the chest, you might end up keeping it away from the chest, then you might end up swinging from the outside in. So we all, our goal is to get the right elbow close to our body on the way down. So you gotta make sure you keep the right elbow away from your chest, okay? So for golfers that do this, high chance you would do the opposite. So if you extend, you'll be able to help you to bring the right elbow down. And of course, keeping the left arm straight, which is our goal for this video. So the next drill is called the split hand drill. I'm sure some of you have maybe tried this drill before. Um, this drill is I would like you to hold a normal left hand grip, but for your right hand, you'll be holding more down the shaft, okay? Just gonna hold it somewhere in the middle of the shaft, and this will help you to straighten the left arm on the way back. So this is just a feel of trying to help you to rotate and extend and keeping the left arm straight. This is a drill that you can work at home or before you practice as well. Just really simple. This is just called a split hand drill. Okay. For the follow through, I see some golfers kind of just stop everything at impact. Okay, there's no rotation through. There's no, no rotation or no extension post impact. This is something I would like you to do on the downswing that will help you to extend the spine, having the left hip ahead of our chest. All right, and of course, keeping the left arm straight. So what you need to do is, on the downswing, all you need to think of, assume that you're rotating really well, you're gonna feel like your belly button is gonna point towards the sky. Okay, the belly button is gonna point towards the sky. And when you have the belly button point towards the sky, you'll be extending the spine, give you a good rotation towards the target, and of course, keeping the left arm straight. So, again, good rotation on the way back, left arm straight. On the way down through impact, my belly button is going to point towards the sky and this will help me to extend my arm. If I don't do that, if my belly button is pointing towards the ground, it's really easy for me to bend the left arm. 
okay so we need an extension so all you need to do is just try to point the belly button towards the sky all right guys that's all i have for today it's important that we try to keep our left arm straight throughout the swing this is a few drills that i would like you to work on of course if you can try to record yourself from the front and just find an issue it could be just try to find an issue and what's is the cause of you bending your left arm it could be the grip it could be the rotation it could be the extension of the spine and of course it could be the right arm as well so just make sure you check um, on video of course uh, and work on the drills all right i hope that the drills will be able to help you to keep the left arm straight so you will be able to repeat the swing having a more consistent impact and of course you can actually power through with the wrist and a nice forearm rotation all right that's all i have for today enjoy the video and hope to see you guys again soon